the week ahead. There have been two consistent messages or themes in the previous weeks. First, don't fight trends. The trend has been clearly higher. The second message, which sometimes is confused as being contradictory, is the market is exhibiting a very poor underlying structure. Poor structure can exist for some period of time. What leads to market overvaluation? FOMO. When FOMO takes over, traders begin to search for securities that are short, stocks or groups that have not yet moved, as well as piling on to momentum trades. The past is forgotten as multiples and valuations are ignored. The greater fool theory is alive and well. Monday's immediate focus. Friday was an inside balancing day. Following inside balance days, we apply the balance trading guidelines. The balance trading guidelines applicable for Monday are, one, remaining within balance further refines the balance and increases the odds of another rotational day. Secondly, go with a breakout from balance. Third, fade or go against a breakout that fails to carry through. If a breakout fails to carry through, the possibility exists that the market will begin to rotate to the opposite end of the balance. On any downside breakout, the late afternoon pullback low at 47.37.50 on the day of the FOMC announcement is a significant reference. Failure to find acceptance below that level keeps the market balanced. Acceptance below 47.37.50 greatly increases the odds of a more significant correction. <laughs> 